You came at Sarah harder than almost anybody. And I said that to and Sarah and I said you that to Matt. Katie from that season of The Bachelor is a fan favorite, but there may be more to her than we realize. We're breaking down everything the other women have to say about her. Hey guys, welcome back to another shared news from home. We're talking all things Katie from The Bachelor, but before we get into it, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any future updates. As always, I'm your host, Gabby Gonta, and I'm joined by the amazing Mariah Davis today. All right, so Katie Thurston has been on everyone's radar since night one of Matt's season, and we've gotten to see a lot of different sides to her, but maybe not all of them. Fans were pretty shocked on Monday night when many of Matt's other women were criticizing Katie's actions on the show. Mariah, were you surprised by all this Katie backlash at the Women Tell All? I was. She got a lot of uh, backlash for telling Matt about, you know, everything going on in the house. And I literally said to my screen, it didn't say anything back, but I was like, why are you so <laughs> upset? Like, I feel like that would make me relieved. Like, oh, somebody had the guts to like discuss what was going on, let him know, especially given the fact that there was a very nasty rumor going on, which broke my heart to see. So I would be relieved that somebody finally put that to bed with Matt. But I mean, there's clearly things we don't know because the girls were very, very upset with Katie. They were. It's always tough. I think we've said in multiple recaps of the season that Katie took a lot on her shoulders getting involved in the drama, right? She wasn't even really involved in a lot of the back and forth that was going on. She was just trying to defend the girls who were involved in the drama. So of course, when you step into that type of situation, there's going to be backlash. There's going to be girls who start to not like you because you did that, even though you're really just trying to level the playing field and be a point of reference to kind of calm everything down. So it's always tough to be in that situation, but Katie ended up there, of course, and it was clear at the Women Tell All that people were bringing all that stuff up again. Some Instagram comments are giving us a closer look at what Mari specifically thinks. One user asked her in her comments, quote, genuine question, why did you and the other ladies feel like Katie was causing the toxicity? Is there something we're missing? Mari replied and said, there is a lot that is missing and that unfortunately will never come to light. So do we think Mari is trying to defend what she said during the Women Tell All here? Or do we think there's some truth to this? Is there parts of Katie that we didn't get to see during the airing of the season? There's no doubt. There's parts of every contestant that we didn't get to see during the season. You know, I think that can be said on every season. They're going to cut things out. We saw a ton of things that we didn't get to see during the season and they were fun moments, but that's a good example of how we may not really know who somebody is, somebody's true character. So I remember watching the women's tell all when Mari was kind of coming for Katie and I was like, girl, like I am really missing it. I really don't get why you guys have beef with her at all. But I mean, mm -hmm. if there is stuff that we don't know, I'm not surprised by this at all. She said that we would never know. Some things will never come to light. I'm not so sure about that. I feel like years down the road, you know, every single one of these contestants is probably going to have a podcast or be on a podcast at some point. So right now it's fresh. <laughs> we may not have the details anytime soon, but like everything in the dark is going to come to light eventually. So I'll be patiently waiting to get all of the tea when it does. That's a really good point. It's interesting because normally in the moments during the season when girls are defending themselves and saying, I wasn't bullying or I wasn't being toxic. And it's like, okay, we'll roll the tapes because you were right. But in the moments right. when the stuff didn't get to air, you know, maybe Katie was doing some things and now these girls are bringing it up and we can't really roll back the tapes because we never saw it. So then Bachelor Nation and all the viewers don't really know where these girls are coming from. And unfortunately, mm -hmm. like she said, we never will know. But hopefully, like you said, maybe soon they'll come out and give a little bit more background on what exactly happened. Mari did clarify that she wasn't upset about the fact that Katie brought up the toxicity in the house to Matt, as we were mentioning earlier but instead because Katie was originally hating on Sarah and then later defended her. So this was interesting because during the Women Tell All, I think Mari brought this up and Katie was saying, I didn't know Sarah's situation, right? I didn't know things were going on with her family. I didn't know there was emotional levels to the fact that Sarah was having such a rough time on the show. And then after Katie realized that, she had more sympathy for her, right? And then she came at the other girls and said, hey, let's give Sarah a break because she has a lot going on. So I think 
people started to think Katie was two-faced in that when she really just had her eyes open to a new scenario in the situation. Mari concluded the Instagram spill sesh saying, quote, please remember that there is so much you don't know and that you don't get to see, so you will never fully understand these situations. Lastly, do your part to be a better human being. MJ and Chelsea both supported Mari's statements saying, retweet, amen, and we are the only ones who know what happened. So this is a lot. It seems like these three girls are kind of on the same team against Katie here. But how do we feel about what MJ and Chelsea also said? And just the fact that there's so much that we are never going to find out about. It's interesting to see what pairs kind of group up and what they have to say after the show airs after the women tell all and it's not surprising that mj and chelsea are kind of backing mari i mean i think we could tell from right away mj and mari were roommates so they naturally have this bond and then chelsea as well she's also not been afraid to kind of speak her mind alongside them so it's interesting Mm -hmm. to see you know them having her back i still think It's hard for me to understand watching the women tell all, you know, yes, Katie had words to say about Sarah afterwards. I'm sure she said a lot of other things that were probably way worse that we didn't get to see. And maybe that's what they're referencing. But she also said, I had a reality check. I -hmm. myself have said things in a heat of a moment, being a a little overly passionate. And then afterwards thinking, I didn't know everything. I didn't have all of the facts. We're going to experience emotions. We're not always going to have ourselves in check. Nobody is. So I still don't understand why the attack on Katie, especially when she was like, I had a reality check. You know, I feel like she kind of made that right. But I am not surprised that there were parts of Katie. Maybe she blew up. Maybe she really exploded because she was in the heat of the moment and she said some awful things. I don't know. Not my Katie. That's all I can think. Like, please, no, not my (laughs) Katie about somebody else but I hope again I hope that somebody is like a guest on a podcast or something is going to write a book about their experience and that will get all the tea exactly we want all the tea and more after this women tell all episode is when I really realized how much they cut out right I feel like this season they cut out an extensive amount but it's just it like ruins my trust with bachelor and the bachelor franchise right because it's like we watch a whole season and we think this is everything that happened and then they air dates that weren't aired and they there's like other bachelor alums alums that showed up and we didn't even get to see that so it's like how much are they keeping from us if they're going to blatantly say here are the dates that weren't aired it's like well there's probably literally so much like three four times the amount of content that we didn't get to see so it ruins my trust issues a little bit there but it just helps me uh take everything with a grain of salt when i'm watching Another question for you. Will we be hearing from Katie about this soon? She's been pretty quiet since all of this, where a lot of other people have been coming out on Instagram and social, speaking their mind a little bit. But do we think it's going to be, you know, farther down the line on maybe a podcast when she tells her story? Or do we think she's going to start clapping back at some of these Instagram comments a little bit sooner? It's so hard to tell with Katie because we've seen her like kind of explode on somebody. She's super nice. And I feel like my opinion of her she seems very level-headed like but then I think back on her fight with Serena C and I remember thinking she's kind of explosive you know she will raise her voice she'll be the first to raise her voice and yell over somebody so a part of me thinks she's gonna clap back but then another part of me thinks like Katie's so logical she's just gonna put this to bed she's not even gonna give that a second thought so I really don't know I guess that does have something to say on her character you know we never really know what we're gonna get from her so maybe there is more to her than I originally had in mind Same here. I think we've learned a lot more about Katie, but of course, she's still a contender for Bachelorette. So if that ends up happening, we'll obviously learn a lot more about her and get to know her even more. With that said, Mariah, after watching The Women Tell All this week, who is your top choice for that Bachelorette spot? I think we mentioned in a previous video that we don't think it's going to be Katie. I think we talked about Reality Steve coming out and saying that she was in talks of being the Bachelorette, but they decided they were going to go with somebody else. So I wouldn't mind seeing a totally fresh face, somebody we've never seen before. Honestly, I think that's really exciting because in a way we get to know every contestant and it's exciting to get to know somebody new entirely. But it was interesting. I love Abigail. I think she would be an incredible bachelorette. And 
Chris Harrison did say you captured the hearts of America. And I feel like that is what they say every time someone has been casted as the bachelorette. You know, I mean, <laughs> Rachel Lindsay, Hannah Brown, I remember those were the same words they used. You captured the hearts of America. So I'm kind of rooting for Abigail, or if I can't have her, then give me somebody fresh, somebody we've never seen before. Okay, very interesting. I would have to say, Katie, I'm I'm sure it's you know, who knows what's going to happen now. It might've, their plans might've changed, but we got to see mm -hmm. such a more sentimental side of her at the women tell all because she's been snarky. Yeah. She's been cute. She's been spunky. And then we saw her almost break down after realizing that she was watching her breakup with Matt and saying, you know, will I ever find my person? Like that was so sad. And I was like, I want her to find her person. So for that reason, like, I'd love to see her as the bachelorette. Otherwise, I'm right there with you with Abigail because she's just so pure and wholesome and represents a whole new community we haven't seen on TV and on The Bachelor before. So for all those reasons, she would also be amazing. All right, you guys, that's all we have for you in this Katie update. But of course, we want to know your thoughts. What did you think of what Mari had to say about Katie? Are you team Katie? Do you want her for Bachelor? Or let us know who your Bachelorette pick is in the comments. And before you go, make sure you subscribe to our channel and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. I'm your host, Gabby Gonta, and I was joined by Mariah Davis today. You can follow us at our socials on the screen right now. Come say hi. Thanks so much for tuning in and we'll see you next time. Bye.